You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello my darlings, how you all doing? Welcome back to part two of Spend the Weekend with me um, It's Sunday today So um, I'm going to crack on and get this bedroom sorted uh, Yesterday Saturday I showed you all the bits and pieces from the haul and the subscriber box um, Yeah, so I can put all that stuff away as well now and Today I have been concentrating on getting the house sorted because I've got to go away to work again. So I want to get as much done today as I possibly can. I've already changed my bed and you know put lovely fresh bedding on and been pottering about doing bits and pieces so all I've got to do in my bedroom is um, take the dust around, the, take the oeuvre around and give the bathroom a quick wipe over but I'm not going to be filming that because I shall do that after I've done this like last job you know what I mean so yeah there's a load of stuff here that's got to be put away where I'm going to put it I have no idea but there's in the one corner over there where you can't see at the moment, it's just full of mostly stuff to go on vinted. Um, there's a couple of boxes with boots in, uh, a couple of bags and yeah, some stuff from previous hauls to put away, the stuff on my bed to put away. I've got bags down here from my Poundland and B&M haul, but some of that's going to be used in here. So yeah, it's just, you know, a tidy and a little revamp of this room. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is um, get everything off the bed. I'm gonna put it just out here for the time being and then I'm gonna change the bed. I'm gonna do that first. So then, you know, I can, that's like the base of everything else in the room and you can I can start putting bits and pieces about and seeing how they look and all the rest of it. So, yeah, um, that's basically it. I'm going to make a start. I hope you're all okay. I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. Um, it is Sunday, but you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. I did explain in the last video. I was going to do it all together and put the one video out. But that video was quite long, so I split it up. And these will go up while I'm away working. And then next weekend, I can film something else and so on and so on. Right, so with that all out the way, let's make a start i'm going to reposition the camera and yeah play you some lovely music while i'm whizzing about and i'll see you all in a little while i've just moved the camera over here can you say look that corner and the bed is full of stuff so the first thing i'm going to do is start moving stuff out of here and into the other room There is only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you I think what I'm gonna do Oh, that light's glaring in there a bit I'm gonna do more than this That's better um, I think what I'm gonna do is all that stuff because I haven't got the bedside table to go yet, there yet, have I? It's got to go back. So, because that is all for vintage, some of it's already on vintage, well, on vintage, but I'm going to put it on my um, wardrobe selling page over on Instagram. Eventually, I know, guys, I said that I was going to do it, but I just haven't had a chance. But as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to start putting all that stuff on my selling page. But what I might do next weekend is do a video and show you everything that I've got and then once it's out I can get it up on my page. So I'm gonna I know it looks a bit of a mess and it's not the ideal thing, but I'm gonna leave that there for the time being, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna leave that there for the time being until uh, I get the bedside table tucked back and I can get the new one there. Yeah, so that's the plan. I'm just going to leave that there. Otherwise, we'll be here all bloody day again. And yeah, I want to get under my blanket. <laughs> I'll tell you 
tell you what I am looking forward to is being able to get my washing out on the line again. Oh man, it's a nightmare eh? it's in the winter trying to dry your, your um, washing. I haven't got a tumble dryer. I used to have a tumble dryer, but it broke and I never replaced it. So I dry everything like over my uh, clothes area, and because I've got such a big dining table, it's got 12 chairs. I dry stuff over the chairs, and that's how I'm having to dry my washing. And being away for the last week, it's just I haven't been able to do any, obviously. So I've got. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I've got all my washing that I brought back with me, like my work clothes and that, and Les's work clothes. And now I've got two lots of bloody bedding, plus what was already in the basket. So there's washing everywhere. So that is what I'm really looking forward to is, you know, the spring, so I can get my, my washing out on my line. This is the uh, electric blanket. Anybody else got one of these? We've got one on every bed in the house. So when our guests come, it's nice and cosy for them. There's a couple of marks on that, but it's clean. It just hasn't come out in the, in the wash, so it's tough. <laughs> I'm actually going to get um, a black one next time I'm at b and a black bottom sheet so that'll do for now nobody's going to be sleeping in it right what do I need I need the bedding show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side I'll soon get the uh Lenore crease release on these and get the creases out. That's the way I owe you. <laughs> I hate I just spray everything with the crease release. Well, especially the bedding. Because you just pull it and, you know, it comes out. The creases come out. Until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed, now I see clear. You know what I always do as well when I'm making the bed? My mum my mom showed me how to do this. I don't know whether any of you guys do it. But you know the opening of the pillar? It's got it being facing away from the door. So when people walk in, they don't see that. It's just how I was taught. So I always put on facing away from the door. I'm moving closer to you now. Now well, I like that. It looks really nice. I'm just going to go and get the crease release. Until you save me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed. There we now go. I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me. I love this stuff. I really do. They were not gone completely, but feels like I can fly. I also think I'm going to change um, the bench rack as well because I've got a black one in the front room so I might change it up and put the black one in here. Let's have a look how we're going to do this throw. I don't know what I'd do without you. I think I'm just going to leave it across the end of the bed like that for now. Now I don't know whether I'm going to put the cream cushions on or whether to just have the black one like that. I think just the black one for the time being. I might pick up um, another couple of little black cushions or get some um, cushion covers for the pillars that I've already got there. If not, I'll use them off this bed in the next bedroom that I'm going to revamp a little bit. So I'm just going to go and get the black tray and then we can, um, yeah, judge the tray up a little bit. Oops. So this is the tray that I've got. 
Um, and I got this off Facebook Marketplace ages ago. I think this will look nice. I've got my winter wreath that I've just add on it on the table because I can change that up with the seasons, can't I? So I think I'm going to leave the wreath on it and pop that on the bed as the bed tray. And let's see what we're going to put on it. Uh, let's have a look. Because we've got a few new bits, but I've also got to think about putting stuff on the bedside tables. I'm going to keep that on there. And that little candle, I think. And then we just need something else. Maybe that candle. What do we think of that? We'll go with that for now. So yeah, that can stay as it is for now. Uh, I'm just gonna move these little bits and pieces. So we've got this bomb vase, haven't we? And these bunny tails, so I want to see whether I've got to cut these bunny tails down because I've got some um, like cream coloured ones as well. Yeah, they've definitely got to be cut down. So right, I'm just going to go and do that. Cut them down. Right, I've cut them a bit shorter and I'm just going to drop them. Oh, that's perfect. I'm just going to drop them in there and I'm going to pop them on there for now. Got these few bits that I had from Poundland and from B&M as well. So I'll just bring them in. Right, let me just move this ring light over here and bring you over here like this because I'm going to get all this stuff off here now and give it a wipe over. We've got these as well, haven't we, that I had from, from B&M, these candle holders. I'm really vexed that the, the one was broke and you watch, it'll be just my luck, I'll get back there and they haven't got any more, it will, it'll be just my luck. So we're going to have a little change up on here as well. Now, I've got, I think I'm going to change this arrangement, I'm going to take this pampas out of here and I've got some, some of my picks that was in my Christmas tree, um, the white ones that I think I'm going to put in there. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to do that. All right, let's just open the blind. You pull me closer but don't waste your time. Right, um, so I think I'm going to put these on here for the time being because um, I do want them on the bedside table but I haven't got the other one yet so they can go on here until the other one comes. So we'll have them either side like that and uh, my elephant, I think I might put the elephant over here. And we will have these because these was for the bedside tables as well. So for the time being, they can go up there. Um, I might even um, I'm going to keep that up there because I like that hanging down there like that. 
and I'm going to keep these little faces. We'll put the black one with the white and the white one with the black. And then I'm going to put my, I'm going to do a new flower arrangement and put that in the middle in this, this vase. So I'm going to take this pampas out. So I'm going to have a new arrangement in there. Actually, I could put that in there with that one for the time being. I will sort it out. And then we've got this little vase. Uh, I'll find somewhere for that. Of course, that pampas was in that vase. And then the swan. Shall we put the swan up here? Yeah, we'll have the swan on there as well. And then the little squirrel. This will probably get changed around again. The little squirrel I'm going to put on the shelf over here. Because I have got a lamp to bring in to put over there. Um, it's got a, a white shade on it at the minute, but I think I might change like with a writing on. So, but I think I might get a black shade and have it on there. Um, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some flowers in here, I think, and make a little a little arrangement. So I'm just gonna go and get the ones that I need, and we'll do that together. So I've got all these. These was in my upside down tray, but they are really nice flowers that you could use all the year round, especially these ones. Um, so I'm gonna do an arrangement in there. I'm going to take the pampas out of there, I think, and do an arrangement in that black vase as well. So I'm just going to pop these on the floor. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut, cut them because I'll still be using them in my Christmas tree now. So what I think I'm going to do is just, just bend them bend them up instead of cutting them like that so yeah definitely bend them I'm going to decide whether I want these or the or these in there I might put both in actually No, I don't think that's the one in there. Now it's bloody stuck. <laughs> I've actually got some more of that. I might just leave that in there, to be honest, and have the flowers in that black vase. Maybe. Because I think that Yeah, I think that looks quite nice just with that in. I really do. So I'm going to leave that as it is in there like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, so I'm going to put these in that black vase, I think. Because it's up against the wall, these ones are a bit and like up against the blind. These ones are a bit um, a bit too big to go in. So yeah, and Pampas makes such a mess as well, doesn't it? it goes everywhere. Right. Tip it round a little bit, tip it down a little bit, and let's uh, let's do this arrangement. Now let's try. I'm not the best at flowers, but yeah, I do like to have a go. So they're obviously too long, so we need to bend them up.
Maybe that'd look nice on the bed, you know. Bloody lace fell off. I think three is enough in there. I'm wondering whether that'd look nice on the bed and then that other cream vase I can put back on there <coughs> with the pampers in. Let's have a look what it'd look like with some of this in, this silver stuff. No. I think it might be a bit too, a bit too small for there. What do you think? Let's have a look in the camera. Now that's not right there. So I think I'm going to put that on the bed, on the bed tray. Yeah, it looks nice on the bed against the black and white. So I'm going to keep that there. Right, so let me get the other bars. This is the lamp that I've got to go on that bedside table there. Once it's all done, I'll get you off the tripod and, and show you around, because I've got to take the over round once it's all done. But I'm going to try, let me just turn you around again. So you can see what I've done over there. Just tip you down. I've put that on the bed. Look, that uh, face bars. I think it looks better on there. So I've put that lamp on there, which actually looks quite nice. Um, I did say I was going to get a black lampshade on it, but it looks it looks quite nice. To be fair, uh, right? Have we got anything else to go anywhere? Um, Uh, I don't know whether I like that swan up there. I think he's, then again, he's all right. Right, let me just move this and get the over. Because these rooms, as you know, and the guest rooms are filming this room uh, more than it's used. Let me just tip you back up a bit. Um, yeah, this is where I film my try-ons and most of my stuff, really, or in, in my bedroom, in my chair. And um, that's a really nice little backdrop now. It looked very bare, didn't it, before? And it, like I said, I've been looking for something. And I do think they look all right. And I really hope that I can get the other one to match. I really do. I mean, where I'm going to put all that stuff for vintage, it's probably going to end up being dumped in the living room because, well, you know the state of that. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to get the over and give it an over round. And then I can show you what I've done quick easy on a budget bougie on a budget that's what we like i have got to i've got the over i have got to get oh, it needs empty i have got to get less to measure a, the, for the curtain rail and curtains and then in here is done and also what i was thinking where that stuff is piled up for putting on my selling page and that I might get a chest of drawers there. I, I don't know whether he said look right there. Being as there'd be a... Um, if, you know what I might even... Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> what I might even do, if they haven't got another one of them, but they've got some chest of drawers, then I'm a little bit more money, I might add the extra and have a chest of drawers on that side of the bed. And I think, that you know, that'd look all right. We'll see anyway. Anyway, I'm going to stop rabbling. I'm just going to take the over round. Right, I think, I think we're done. Uh, yeah. I think we are. Right, I'm going to get you off the tripod now and just give you a little tour and show you where everything is from. So I'll see you in a second. So let's start as you walk in the room. Obviously, you've got the bed. We're not going to, uh, you know, look at that stuff over there because that's going to be gone eventually and we're going to have one of them over there. 
So yeah, bedding was from B and M. It was twenty five pound. It's a double set. The cushion, bolster cushion, which is absolutely gorgeous, was from B and M, and that was ten pounds. The throw was from B and M. That was £12. I quite like how that looks on the end of the bed, to be honest. I really, really do. I might fold it over one more time. The tray I already had, and this was from B&M ages and ages ago, and I got that for £4 in the sale. The candle was... I think this needs re-spraying. If you, Can you see? It's got, like, little marks on it. I could do with spraying it black again. Um... The candle was off my friend Joanne for Christmas. The face vase was from Poundland. That was £6, I do believe. The candlestick, I think, was from Tesco. It's a Mrs Hinch one that was uh, reduced. I think I got that for about four or five pound and just a pillar candle on there. And I really like how the bed looks as well now. And then on the bedside table, as I say, we are going to have one on the other side. The lamp I already had, I've had that for a very long time. I think it was a B&M purchase a long time ago, actually. The little body vase, the bum vase. Now, should I have it that way or do we have it, do we have it this way? Showing a bum. I suppose you could have it either way, couldn't you? Uh, was six pound from Poundland, and the bunny tails were six pound from B and M. The little, the actual unit itself was twenty pounds from B and M. The little squirrel was reduced in B and M to one pound or one pound fifty. That um, candle holder I've had for a long time. I couldn't tell you where I've had it from, and these as well, and that at the bottom. I've had those years. The little candle, I think, was from Primark, but the other stuff I've had years. All you need is love. So, yeah, ain't that true? I really like how that looks. I'm quite impressed, you know, for the money, less than, well, let's try and work it out, 25 35, 45, 47, uh, six, uh, 53, um, 60, 60. I'd say I've done this room along with a few other bits on here for less the on here, less than 80 pound. I've done this room for so far. I have got the, let me just turn this ring light off. I have got the curtains to get. So the whole room would have been judged up by the time I've got the curtain pole and the curtains for less than £150, I would say. Um, I'd already got those, so I've just left that there. And on the windowsill here, I'd already got this. I think I had this from... Um, Tesco in the sale. These were two pounds from Poundland, one pound from Poundland. This stag was two pounds, reduced from five in B and M, and I got two of those. And I got two of the little faces as well. As I say, they were a pound, two pound. I got one of those in black, and that swan I got reduced to. I think it was one pound fifty in. Poundland because there was some little marks on it which you can't even see now and the vase I've had a long time and I've just put these little glittery picks in there that I had from out of my Christmas tray and I think I might even get something for under there you know but it might hinder my filming I'll say either there or there I might add something in maybe like a, a long TV unit or something like that. I'll say, I'll say about that. But for now, that's fine. So that is the room finished. Look at me in my loungewear still. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's uh, it's bath and shower evening. So yeah, excuse the state of me, but you know, you know that I live in my loungewear. So anyway, my darlings, that is that is the room. More or less complete. As I say, I've just got that one to put over there and the curtains and 
curtain pole and toy box to go up there and that's the room makeover done so let me just pop you back on the uh, tripod and i'll say goodbye to you properly okay there we go i mean that looks loud better doesn't it the backdrop now there's that little bit of something there i really really like that i really really do so i might even just push that up a little bit into the middle of the bed like that yeah that's better I'm, I'm quite impressed with how it's turned out and tied all the black and the white in together. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Let me know what you think, because I know a lot of you were saying you can't wait to see how it looks when everything's tied together. So let me know what you think of the, the job that I've done. The only thing I'm not too keen on at the moment in here is that um, pampas in the corner. I might get some tall black pampas. You know what? I've got some grey, but it's in my bedroom. But I could change that up, you know, and bring the grey in here. That's a thought. I'll see. I might even order some black pampas and have some black in there. We'll see. So, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of the video down below in the comments, if you like it, or if there's anything that you think that I could change or add or, you know... All your um, little inputs I really do appreciate. And yeah, that's it. That's me done. Um, I'll see you all very, very soon. And I'll keep you... I have put a community post out with... Um, ask me a question. Because I've had, like I said, loads of new subscribers recently. And I haven't done a Q&A for such a long time. So if you've got any questions, leave them on my community post or below this video. That is fine. And yeah, I'll do a Q&A soon when I get a chance to sit down. And, you know, we can have a coffee together and have a chat and I can answer all your questions. Um, yeah, so I'll see you all very soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I love you guys loads. Thanks for spending some time with me again today. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. Love you. See you really, really soon. Bye.